Map of Greed returns. Yep. Map of Greed. Map of Quick Naturals. Spawning in the bottom left position of Alterzeem Stronghold. Currently down 0-1 against Hyun. We have the Blue Protoss Seed. Spawning in the bottom right corner, playing from Rocket Gaming, we have a Red Zerg with his 1-0 lead here in this best of five. For third place, we have Hyun. The Roach King. The Roach King. Displaying that very much so in this tournament. Beast with the Roaches. We saw him yesterday in a ZBZ actually crush um, uh, a game where he had Roach disadvantage for a long time. Managed to come back through some really nice play. The engagements were yeah, key. Yeah, exactly. That's really what Roaches are all about. Like numbers and engagements. Not so heavy on numbers because you can still... Uh, just the micro ability of Roaches a little higher. It's all about getting the Roaches in range to do the attack. We're seeing the scout of Drone come out from Hyun here. Going to guess correctly where his opponent is. Not with the Overlord though, but that's not the worst thing in the whole world. Drone will get it first. Same build out of seed, gate first. No Nexus first for him. He's going down in the back of his base, not looking to wall off the ramp as the drone strolls in leisurely to define. And he sees the gate, he sees the pylon, he sees the lack there of a wall. The probe says get the hell out. And the second pylon goes down right behind that gateway as well. Yep, probably looking to do a nice little cannon wall at the natural or at the uh, ramp here. Let's we'll see. Probes like the longest range attack of any any drone. It's broken as hell. Plus they have shields. Yeah, plus they have shields. Nerf protons. Anyway. <laughs> nerf probes, please. Yep, nerf probes. Come on, they're really the imbalanced unit in this whole competition. That's really what's setting off the TVP meta for so long. Yeah. What's the one constant in every single match where Protoss wins? David Kim, please. Probes. He built probes. Yeah. Nerf probes. True story. Yeah. Thinking something like, you know, maybe half movement speed. Like, do they have to be viable every game? Yeah. It's really just forcing other players to also build probes and drones and SCVs. And I personally don't enjoy that at all. I don't like being walled into any one build. I would like to make no drones, in, uh, to be <laughs> honest. What if that was the meta? Like, what if you didn't build any SCVs whatsoever? Some, I mean, there's always the drone rush. We've seen Naniwa do it before versus Nez T yeah. before rage quitting immediately. Seeing someone pull that out in high level tournament play would just be so weird. Yeah, it ended his career. I think he ended, <laughs> I think he ended his career to be honest. Like I don't think it was that build in general. I think it was his general attitude towards the game. Right. He's gone off to fonder pastures on uh, or greener pastures at League of Legends. Oh, so yeah. there's always that. More casual pastures pastures. R. I. P. uh Naniwa. Yep. The BM King. Seeing a Stargate come out yet again out of seed, probably going with that Oracle. The speed of the Oracle or any Stargate unit is quite nice in this map. Lets you get map control, lets you get scout off on your opponent. Possibly get some drones as well. Slightly less ambition on the economic side for Hyun. Did not go for the three hatch before pool this time around. Grab that pool before grabbing the third. Might be uh, a little better suited to defend this incoming Oracle. The Queens will be out a little sooner. Four lings push, pushing across, looking to get that scout on. Let me update the score here, guys. Currently 1-0 in favor of Hyun. That it is. The long pause there, very dramatic, Antero, so I liked it. Well, you know me. Always, uh, always rooting for the Zerg. Yep, I know you. Always rooting for the underdog, am I right? You know, ZVP? Always rooting and for the, rooting for underdog. the underdog. The underpowered dog. Yep. <laughs> the underdog. <laughs> you just now got that one. We're seeing Phoenix pop out instead of Oracle. Little deviation there. Another Phoenix behind that one. Easy scouts, easy overlord pickings. Can't yeah, really defend the overlords absolutely. when they're that far outstretched across this very, very, very large map. Yeah, you think about what's going to kill the phoenixes, like uh, mutas? He's so far away from that right now. 
and knowing Hyun, he's not moving forward like a two base or a three base meter uh, right away. He's going to try to do roaches first, as we see him do so commonly. A third Phoenix in production as well, looking to go up quite a bit in Phoenixes. Still only on one Stargate though, so he's not dumped any more in that in that just yet. Yeah, it'll be interested to see uh, the follow-up composition coming from Seed. Yeah. Hyun, all he really has to do is add on some Hydras to thwart this. It's pretty far away, as we're not quite there yet. We only are on two gas as of right now out of our six. So Hydras, a little bit far out of reach. Uh, spores, well-placed to help defend these uh, annoying Phoenixes. Still able to pick off the extraneous, very far away uh, yeah. drones. Possibly off gas here as well, which would be a nice pick off. Yeah, if that queen moves forward, it gets lifted as well, so that's quite futile. This phoenix oh, will fall. Losing a phoenix didn't have to do that. Necessarily right there. Being such microbo units, you just got to be on top of moving that one back. I think he's going to push out here, possibly go for some overlord kills. Behind this, Twilight Council going down, sentries being warped in, as we've seen him do before. Probably going for that same push. Very delayed though, because he's put so much money into these um, into these phoenixes. Maybe more defensive units for the time being. Yep. A lot more gates coming down. Twilight Council is almost finished. Will we see some blink play or some charge slits? Possibly. We're seeing the lane stream across trying to get this third here. It's gonna have to get canceled. Sentries are here to provide force field support, but the Tickle Cannons are just not powerful enough for these links. Those Sentries are now stranded. They, they move, are. they are in deep shit. This is actually quite a in fact, mistake. In they're in deep shit right now. Yeah, this is quite a mistake. That is a lot of gas in those Sentries. Each one worth about 100 gas. He's going to try to save these couple, but I don't think nope. he's going to. All these Sentries going down for seed right here, that is His huge. initial push is completely thwarted. He has no way to defend any of the units that would, would have come out from any very fast surrounds of these speed links. The force fields are all but depleted. The last Sentry stands, the other two with no energy. Meanwhile, the Phoenix just sit in the middle of the map. They do not push back to help you clear out these links with lifts. It seems silly to waste at that point, but maybe he could have saved... Uh, a sentry or two? I Saved a sentry. A little bit, yeah. uh... Oh, excuse me. Too many lings used for that one sentry to not die, you know? Yeah. Still quite nice out of, uh, out of Hyun trading those. Certainly. Going for Mutas, we're not, have we seen a Roach Horn come down for the Roach King? Going for Mutas after no. seeing the Phoenix. Um, ah, gotcha. I'm not sure about that. He may want some Corruptors instead, unless he's really hoping to overwhelm those Phoenix. Of course, those Phoenix don't have their crystal. Crystallis upgrade? What is that thing called again? The range upgrade? Yeah. Anion so, Pulse Crystals. Yeah, the crystals. One of the coolest sounding upgrade names in the entire game. In, indeed, if not the coolest sounding. That's a matter of opinion, Ateros. Well, what would be the coolest sounding upgrade? Wait, a matter of opinion, as I just said. My, I think, is, is Anion Pulse Crystals. Okay, so we're in agreement. All that matter are in agreement here. It is unanimous. It is the coolest sounding upgrade. Once again, sorry guys, missed it a little bit. Sentries having to drop force fields here at the Naturals. Once again, Lynx push in. Roach Warren is finishing up for Hyun. So much bank for Hyun right yeah, now. Yeah, absolutely. About 1,400 gas, 2k minerals in the bank. We could get a huge tech switch out of him. Is the time right, though? Uh, he's going for Roach upgrades. He's going to dump a lot of Roaches. Going Glio Reconstitution as well as Zerg Flyer Attacks. We're going to see Roach Muta come out of Roach 14 Muta Mutas in production with plus one attack yep. coming down for them. Roach Speed as they follow up. This is going to be a pretty hardy composition for Hyun to have now. There's not a lot of anti air support aside from four Phoenixes, one of which has zero whole health available. Just shields there. Look at that. You could sneeze on that one Phoenix and it would die if it didn't have its shields there. A strong breeze would take that thing right out of the air. Done trying to transfer, getting caught, moving into his fifth base, by the way. He's also Almost all of these drones are gonna get picked off. Yet here. again, macro like freaking crazy. He's building 14 drones at a time. He's done that twice now. He's about to hit the golden 80 drones. That Azur likes to have. Indeed. These days are numbered for these Phoenix folks. 
Mutas should come out any moment now. Where are they, in fact? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Mutas are actually poking out the naturally. You're taking out the cannon, taking out the probes as well. I wonder where they were. They didn't care about the Phoenixes at they all. They were hard at work. Yeah. No time to talk. Getting 17 probe kills right there. Ooh, nice link forward. Gonna pick off a couple Mutas there. Meanwhile, Phoenix is having free reign over this creep. Not doing much damage, though. Very low on energy. Can no longer lift. Got Roach speed, but no upgrades on melee. Just the plus two carapace coming down for the Roaches. Plus two melee for the Lynx. And he hasn't built any Roaches either. No, he's not. Just a defensive Roach for him, that was. Yep. Going Ling Muta against Protoss. Kind of interesting. A little different. It's working for him right now, that's yeah. for sure. He got that great trade early on against Sentries. I think that's what did it for him. Oh, wow. Going to immediately focus down that Zealot, and the Lings are going to trickle into the main base. God, this Very is... cool play by him. Yeah, absolutely. A nice little sneak attack coming in here from the Roach King. Oh, man. Spreading across. Getting the Mother's Core down. He can oh, no longer huge. go for the no cannon. No photon overcharge. No recall. No nope. nothing. Nothing at all. Getting the Lings... Or, I'm sorry. Getting the probes here with these extra Lings. Poking back into the third base. Even more You just are all kills. over the place. They are dominating this area right now. Absolutely. Keeping away from the stalkers as well, not losing too many mutas. These lings still doing a little harassing and cleaned up by the zealots. The probes move back in. Let's take a look at the damage done there. 30 probes killed so far by Hyun. Still poking in. The only he has the nice, uh, starting to get to the nice money number of mutas here. We can almost one shot these stalkers. Not quite. With one or two joining the fray, just about. Plus Man, two upgrades are certainly going to help. He's not afraid to engage these stalkers and thin out these numbers. He does not have a ton of money to resupply this with. While Hyun is floating minerals, he cannot spend them fast enough. Nope. Oh, he has a 50 supply lead right now, which is, again, these insane. Mutas, they're out of control. They are. They don't they can't care be stopped. about anything. They've been in this base for so long. I wish I would have timed it. Look at They're just bouncing back and forth again. Yeah. Focusing down more stalkers, and the Lings are going to come here to support now. Get an immediate surround about the Zealots. The force fields go up to defend the stalkers, and that they do, but the Lings didn't even bother trying. Man, Seed really needs to play defensively here. Keep those Mews out of his base. He needs to not lose any more probes to them. We see a large stalker force back here, which is... It really sucks to have to do, because now he cannot have all of his army collected together. He has to slip them apart and hopefully not die. These mutas are so annoying. Yun's also positioning for a backstab at the same time right now with this force of blame. GG comes out for seed deservingly as well. Coming out.